Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about the properties of proportion. We will apply the fundamental theorems of proportionality to solve problems involving proportions. Proportion can be written in different ways. Let's have the different properties of proportions, which are very useful in solving word problems. Proportion may be written in different ways. Let's have the following properties of proportion. Itong mga properties ng proportion na ito ay magagamit natin sa pag-solve ng mga word problems. The first property of proportion is the cross-multiplication property. It states that in a proportion, the product of the extremes equals to the product of the means. The proportion A is to B as C is to D can be written as A times D equals B times C. Let's have an example. Example number 1 is x is to 4 equals 3 is to 2. Applying the cross-multiplication property, kukunin natin yung product ng means at saka product ng extremes. Based sa ating property, ang product ng extremes ay equal sa product ng means. This proportion can be written as x times 2 equals 4 times 3. x and 2 are the extremes while 4 and 3 are the means. Pag pinag-multiply natin, yung extremes and means, they are equal. x times 2 is 2x, 4 times 3 is 12. So, this proportion, x is to 4, equals 3 is to 2 is the same as 2x equals 12 by cross-multiplication property. Let's have example 2. 3 is to 5 as 6 is to 10. Applying the cross-multiplication property, multiply natin yung extremes 3 and 10 equal siya sa product ng means na 5 and 6. It can be written as now as 3 times 10 equals 5 times 6. 3 times 10 equals 5 times 6. Let's simplify. 3 times 10 is 30 equals 5 times 6 is also 30. So, we have... 30 equals 30. Take note, masasabi natin na ang given is a proportion kung ang kanilang product ay equal. So, since 30 is equal to 30, the given is a proportion. Kung hindi nag-equal ito, that means that it is not a proportion. Let's have another example. Applying the cross-multiplication property. Example number 3. Find the value of x in the proportion 2 is to 3 equals 4 is to x. Let's copy the given. This is the given. Applying the property cross-multiplication, we multiply 2 times x and then equals 3 times 4. 2 times x is 2x equals 3 times 4 is 12. And then, apply natin yung division property. Multiply natin both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is x. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Therefore, ang value ng x sa ating given na proportion is 6. Let's have the second property of proportion. That is the alternation property. 
This property states that interchanging the means or the extremes of a proportion results in an equivalent proportion. Sa property na to, ang tatandaan nating term is interchanging. Let's have the proportion A is to B equals C is to D is equivalent to A is to C equals B is to D or D is to B equals C is to A. This is the proportion. In-interchange natin yung means. The means are B and C. Pinagpalit natin. Yung B is the second term, while C is the third term. Pag pinag-interchange natin, yung C ay magiging second term, while yung B ay magiging third term na. So, from A is to B equals C is to D, equivalent siya sa A is to C equals B is to D. Or, pwede ring i-interchange naman natin yung extremes. Yung A is the first term, while D is the fourth term. Pag pinag-interchange natin, yung D siya na yung magiging first term, while yung A siya na yung magiging fourth term. Yung second and third term natin, dun pa rin yung kanilang pwesto. So, from A is to B equals C is to D ay equivalent sa D is to B equals C is to A. Let's have examples. Number 1, 4 is to 5 equals 8 is to 10. Apply natin yung alternation property, i-interchange natin yung means. Kapag in-interchange natin yung means na 5 and 8, magiging 4 is to 8 na siya equals 5 is to 10 by alternation property. In-interchange natin yung means ng ating proportion. Let's have example 2. 2 is to 3 equals 8 is to 12. interchange naman natin yung extremes. Ang extremes natin ay 2 at saka 12. Si 2 ay malilipat dito sa 4th term at si 12 naman ay malilipat sa 1st term. By alternation property, we will interchange the extremes. 2 is to 3 equals 8 is to 12 is equivalent to 12 is to 3 equals 8 is to 2. In interchange natin yung extremes. Let's have the third property of proportion. The third property of proportion is the inverse property. In this property, if the terms of the ratios of a proportion are inverted, the result is an equivalent proportion. Kung kanina sa alternation, nag-interchange, dito naman sa inverse, yung ating terms sa ratios ng proportion are inverted The proportion A is to B equals C is to D is equivalent to B is to A equals D is to C Madali lang i-identify kung inverse property ang ginamit Ito yung ating proportion A is to B equals C is to D Yung first term magiging second term na siya while yung second term magiging First term. Yung third term magiging fourth term while yung fourth term magiging third term. Or, yung numerator natin mapupunta dito sa denominator. While yung mga denominator natin, siya na yung magiging numerator. So, from A is to B equals C is to D, equivalent siya sa B is to A equals D is to C. Nagkapalit ng pwesto yung nasa taas at saka yung nasa baba. Paano ba na-derive ang inverse property? Let's show the derivation. Our proportion is A is to B equals C is to D. 
And then, i-apply natin yung cross multiplication property. The product of the means equals the product of the extreme. We now have B times C equals A times D. We have BC equals AD. And then, i-divide natin both sides by AC. BC divided by AC equals AD over AC. And then, simplify natin. Dito sa left side, makakancel yung C. Ang may iwan is B is to A. Sa right side, makakancel yung A. Ang may iwan is D is to C. Therefore, we have B is to A equals D is to C. Yun yung kanyang equivalent na proportion by inverse property. Let's have examples. If M is to N equals R is to S by inverse property, this is equivalent to N over M equals S over R. Yan. So, nagkapalit ng terms sa mga ratio. Let's have example number 2. If 2 is to 3 equals 5 is to 15, this is equivalent to 3 is to 2 equals 15 is to 5. Ang pagpapalitin lang natin ay yung terms ng ratio. Let's have the fourth property of proportion. The fourth property of proportion is the addition or subtraction property. The proportion A is to B equals C is to D can be written as A plus B is to B equals C plus D is to D. Or A minus B is to B equals C minus D is to D. Kung mapapansin natin, dito sa proportion natin, ang ia-add dito sa first term ay yung second term natin. At yung ia-add dito sa third term ay yung ating fourth term. Kung nag-add tayo ng second term at saka third term, equal pa rin yung ating proportion. The same, pag nag-subtract tayo ng second term at saka nag-subtract tayo ng third term, equal yung ating proportion. Let's have example. Number 1, if x is to 12 equals 2 is to 3, ang second term natin is 12, dadagdagan, idadagdag natin dito sa first term. x plus 12 is to 12, and then ang fourth term natin is 3, idadagdag natin dito sa third term. 2 plus 3 is to 3. That is the equivalent of the proportion. x plus 12 is to 12 equals 2 plus 3 is to 3. Let's check kung parehas yung makukuha nating value ng x. Let's do the checking. x is to 12 equals 2 is to 3. Let's apply the cross multiplication property. x times 3 is 3x equals 12 times 2 is 24. 3x equals 24. I-divide natin both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 is x. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Ang value ng x natin dito sa proportion na to is 8. Let's try this proportion. Let's solve for x. Apply ulit natin ang cross multiplication property. x plus 12 times 3 equals 12 times 2 plus 3. Ang product ng extremes ay equal sa product ng means. And then, apply natin yung distributive property of multiplication. 3 times x, 3 times x is 3x, 3 plus 12 is positive 36. Equal siya sa 12 times 2 is 24 plus 
12 times 3 is 36. We have 3 plus 36 equals, ang 24 plus 36 ay equal siya sa 60. Or, another solution natin, pwedeng 2 plus 3 is 5, saka natin i-multiply sa 12. 12 times 5 is 60. And then, addition property of equality, 3x equals 60 minus 36 is 24. We have 3x equals 24. Divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 is x. 24 divided by 3 is 8. The value of x for this proportion is 8. The same lang yung ating nakuhang value ng x. So, they are equivalent. Let's have the fifth property of proportion. The fifth property of proportion is the summation property. In this property, the ratio of the sum of the numerators to the sum of the denominators is equivalent to each of the equal ratios. In symbol, if A is to B equals C is to D equals E is to F, then A plus C plus E plus sum of all the numerators all over the sum of all the denominators, it is equivalent to the original ratios. So, babalik siya dito sa ating unang ratios. Let's have example. We have, if 1 is to 2 equals 3 is to 6 equals 4 is to 8 equals 5 is to 10 equals 6 is to 12, then yung sum ng lahat ng numerators all over sum ng lahat ng denominators ay equal siya sa 19 is to 38. Kapag sinimplify natin, it is equal to 1 is to 2. So, mag-i-equal siya doon sa ating original na ratio. As you can see, 1 is to 2 ay equal siya sa 3 is to 6 na kapag sinimplify mo ito, that is also 1 is to 2. The same dito sa 4 is to 8, it is also equivalent to 1 is to 2. That is the summation property. For our next video, we will apply the properties of proportion in solving problems involving proportion. So, just keep on watching.